the Ray-Ban and Meta Smart Glasses. I did an unboxing on these, showed them off a little, super quick demo. Now I've used them on and off here for the past week, taken some videos, did some live stream demos. Uh, let's talk about it. So first off, they're pretty lightweight. They really don't weigh a whole ton more than an actual pair of Wayfarers. Um, these are the transitions. They were $380. You can get the regular clear lenses for $300 or for a little more. I think you can get some sunglasses options, polarized lenses. Uh, you can also get your own prescription lenses. I don't recommend these. I think the transitions look just, I don't know, they're weird. They're not clear indoors and outdoors. They don't get, they eventually get pretty dark, but not real sunglasses dark. So I'm not really a fan of that, especially for the extra $80. And indoors, these are just, I don't know, practically unusable. Um, I don't know why these are making noises at me. There's a lot of weird little nitpicks with these here and there. Sometimes they disconnect from your phone and you gotta restart apps. They're brand new, so I'm sure they'll work out more of the kinks as it gets a little more mature. But the fit is nice, the feel is nice. You can debate whether they look okay on me or not, but there's two different styles. There's the Wayfarers, and then there's... There's another style. Why did I stop there? Because I accidentally touched the touch area. You tap here, you can control volume, you can play things. I tapped it, it started playing the last YouTube video I was watching. So that kind of caught me by surprise. On that note, audio sounds really good on here. Music sounds great videos, whatever. In a phone call, the other person you're talking to sounds pretty good. When you talk to them, you sound a little muffled. The mics on here aren't amazing. Um, I was talking to my brother, I did a quick phone call with him, and he said, yeah, you sound okay, but you sound a little muffled. You sound like not as clear as you normally do. And I guess that's to be expected, but still a little disappointing given the price of these and the fact that a microphone is one of the more basic things they've included, right? So sound quality is good, listening to things, the fit's good, the feel's good, the build quality's good. So what else is there? Well, obviously the big draw for these is it takes video. It takes video, does live streaming. So you can see, hopefully, over here we've got the camera believe that's the camera. Find out in a second, that might be the light. There's a notification LED and a camera. If I take a picture by clicking this button here, there's the light. There's no way to disable that. And I understand why they did that for privacy reasons, um, but it's still kind of frustrating. I don't wanna walk around public with a light going that's just gonna draw weird attention, I guess, but at the same time, you're recording people without consent is kind of weird too. If you're in public, you don't need that. It is what it is. But still, I don't know. I can't come up with too many situations to record in public anyways. You might be able to. That's really the draw for these. You need to have that situation. But you may be wondering, well, how's the video look? If I'm doing a live stream, if I'm recording, can I just record forever? You can't. You can only do 60 seconds at a time of recording. It's, I believe, 720p at 30 frames per second. Here's an example of what that looks like. Not bad. Weird aspect ratio. Kind of low res for what I'm looking for. I, I didn't really think about it or know what it was gonna do. I film a lot of like food content, some other stuff at either 4K, at least 1080p. So 720 is not great. That's that's pushing it there. Um, but the recordings still look decent, as you saw. Now let me show you what it looks like when you live stream because you've got a couple more options here. Say you want to do a video longer than 60 seconds. You can save any of your live streams from Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you could live stream to your own private account that nobody else can see and then just archive the video and save that later. 
then you can essentially record as long as the battery will last on these. And supposedly they'll last up to four hours. But do you really want to do that? Let me show you a couple examples of video from live streaming to Instagram. First, here's one of me live streaming in the house on a Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, looks okay. Looking around, take a look. Now the thing about that, I had to actually cut the audio and dub over that because the camera, or not the camera, but Instagram Live exports at a variable frame rate and my Premiere Pro app can't handle that, right? So the audio was all garbled and slow. So that's not fun. There's one strike. Uh, you'll also notice that video didn't have a watermark. I'm gonna play another one here for you. This is one that I shared out to Instagram and then I downloaded it again. This is while I was driving on a cellular connection. So these were out in the sunlight for a little bit and now I'm in my car so they're not getting any darker. I'll see if they get darker, but I, I hate these transitions lenses. I'm, if I keep these, I'm going back to the regular ones. But let's see what this looks like live streaming. This is a video I'm live streaming to a private account so that I could save the video and then use that later because you can only record 60 seconds on the glasses themselves. So again, this is footage of me driving around. I'm live streaming to a private Instagram account uh, so nobody can watch this, but later I can go save the video and share it with you guys. Um, so you're just kind of seeing me driving. And outside here, I guess it's clear enough looking through these lenses. I really don't like them though for indoors. They're too dark, too cloudy. Kind of like this BMW in front of me drives way too slowly. Uh, speed limit's 45. They're going like less than 30, six, seven. I don't know. Kind of cool. You can see my heads up display. I'm assuming here. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll check the footage out later. But the glasses are comfy enough, and I don't know how I sound. I just made a phone call with my brother, and he told me that I usually sound a lot clearer, but this is still plenty clear. Um, like, he said, yeah, you could have a full conversation with those. Sure, no problem. But not as clear, obviously, as even my AirPods or just talking on the phone. Um, yeah. Music sounds pretty good on them. I don't know what the old Ray-Ban stories sounded like, but these sound good. These sound pretty good. And so here's here's the quality of what it looks like if you stream to Instagram and you do this and you record it. Here's a video of that. So the frame rate was fine for that. Everything sounded okay. But did you see how choppy and blocky the video was? Working off that cell connection from the glasses, from Instagram. It's just not great. You're never gonna wanna use that footage in anything. I don't know if I even wanna live stream at that quality. It's not good. And there's no way to adjust the settings. There's no way to make that better. So given that, what's the point? I have no desire to use that. So if I can't record things longer than 60 seconds, if my 60 second videos on the glasses themselves are only at 720p, 30 frames per second, just what's the point? I I'm not digging it. Ease of use, getting those videos off of there, it's pretty cool. There's the Meta View app and it connects to your glasses. It can import all your photos, videos right off of it into your photos app or wherever. There's also a setting so that when they're in the case and charging, they'll connect to your main Wi-Fi and they'll just sync everything to your phone anyways. The catch with that is you have to have location sharing always on which is weird, I don't quite get why, and I hate giving Facebook meta more control over things like that, but that's an option. Um, so, other than the video quality, and that's the killer for me, that's why I'm not keeping these, but th there's other silly things, like, cool, the case charges with USB-C, right? They don't give you a USB-C cable. They don't give you the charging brick, they don't give you the cable. That's kinda rude, right? They just assume you have one. And the odds are pretty good that you do, let's be real. But still, that's cheap. I don't like that. Um, the case is nice. 
It's got a little indicator light there to let you know if it's you know, charged up, if your glasses are charged, etc., etc. So that's cool. So the concept of these is great. I think they're cool. I think if it recorded higher quality video, if there were more ways to change that, if you could record longer video, if I could stream longer, higher quality video direct to my phone and use that as the storage device, it would be great. I would probably, well, I definitely return these. I hate these lenses, but I'd probably get the pair with clear lenses. Uh, heck, even the sunglasses, if you're gonna be mostly outside, this is a classic look, it's the Wayfarer. Who's gonna complain about that, right? But with these lenses, I'm just not digging it. So that's kind of my final review, final thoughts on the Meta Wayfarers, the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, the Wayfarers. Um, that's, that's how I feel about them. Let me know if you've tried them, how they're working for you, what you think of the video, am I missing something? Uh, let me know in the comments there and let me know if you want to see more content about like smart glasses, things like that. I'm starting to learn there are more products like this on the market, much more niche, but higher quality, not as cool looking, but much more feature rich. And that might be good for what I'm trying to use these for. So I need to look into that. So if you have any recommendations on those, same thing, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Tech. Still figuring out what I'm recording, what I'm doing on this channel, but I'm having fun doing it. So thanks for being here with me. Y'all have a good one.